Paul from Alexander Knife Sharpening. So I want to show you guys a, a couple quick tips uh, for you laser pecker four users out there. Uh, here's a couple things. Uh, one user, another user pointed this out to me and I wanted to share it with everybody because I think it's really uh, a useful uh, tip. And it's, I, I had mentioned, I wish they had put an auto like recall for focus on here because if you're using the little orange hood and I'm going to start my other camera recording here um, so you can see both the screen what I'm doing on there if you're using this orange hood to focus it can be a pain sometimes to get focus and then um, it I found myself taking the hood off to be able to see stuff but then how do I get it back on and then it was a pain I would have to focus with the hood on there and you can't see the laser dots as well so they told me about using the uh, auto height adjustment to get the hood out of the way and then back into the same spot. So watch this. So all you got to do, so let's go to preview. So here's my little engraving. It's just my name that I want to put on uh, my knife and the year that I bought this knife, which was in 1995. So I am going to move this engraving down a little bit. So I can get it close to where I want it. Okay, so that's a little bit better. And now I'm gonna now I'm gonna focus it. Now I can either do it with the buttons in here, or on. I'm using the the PC software, so I'm just clicking this and lowering it. Until those two red dots come together. Now I also want to make sure it's on the same height as the area I want to engrave. So that's all the same. So it's best that I get my little focus dots focused on a part of the knife that's going to be exactly the same height. And that right there looks pretty good to me. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I do want to move this engraving down a little bit if I can but I'm out of range so I can't go too far I'm gonna have to just make the adjustments with my knife so that's still that's pretty good alright so you can see I'm in focus I got my box where I want it so how do I get if I wanted to use the hood for those of you that were using the hood or even sometimes I don't mind putting the hood on in here so I can watch it and have the benefit of the protection without maybe necessarily having to wear the goggles. If I come up right here, you see I'm up in the right hand corner. See where it says lift height? If I change this to 30 and I do one click, it's moving the head now out of the way. I guess the equivalent of 30 clicks. And now I can come in here and put my hood back on. Now watch this. All I have to do, come back over, click down, and it moves it back down 30 clicks right to the same spot where it was. And now I don't have to refocus it. It's right where I want it. I can go to my next step. And I'm going to just cancel that for a second because I didn't set this up the way I wanted, but we will do that real quick. Fill image line text. Okay, so let's come up here. We want this at 4K. One pass, 100, and we just need to change this to 50. Yeah, I think it was set for image. All right. So let's go and there we go so now we got it 150 we're going to confirm now the only thing with the height adjustment it resets to one every time so every time you do this you're going to have to put that like 30 or 20 whatever you want it to move out of the way in because I have noticed that it does reset to one each time. 
but it is a nice way to not have to go through refocusing and working around that hood. Doesn't seem to always be necessary with the uh, with the 1064 nanometer laser. It's pretty powerful. And we're at 97% and 99%, 100% done. All right, so we're all done. And so now, if I want to raise it up, I have to go back to preview. And you'll see how it reset to one. So I do have to reset it in here. Every time you complete something, it does reset itself. But there you go. You guys see that engraving? And that came out real nice. So I'm just going to take that out because I'm happy with that. And it just needs a little cleaning. And this was the first hunting knife I bought back in 1995. And it had, it actually had a, a prior engraving on there, but it was really bad. I had done it with a Dremel. So I took that off and and redid it with a really nice engraving from my laser packer. All right, so that's how to get the hood out of your way and back into position uh, easily since it doesn't have any type of auto memory for focus. I hope that helps some of you out.